Target 8 is revealing new details about the death of a Muskegon County jail inmate. Paul Bolthouse died April 4th. An autopsy called his death natural, saying it was caused by seizures. Target 8 obtained that report and the internal investigation into Bolthouse's death, and we found he suffered 15 seizures in his close observation cell over more than three hours leading up to his death. His doctor told us Bolthouse was on clonopin, a strong drug to control years of anxiety and other medical issues. But jail records show the jail did not give him the drug because it's against jail policy. Cutting the drug cold turkey can lead to hallucinations, seizures, even death. That inmate's death is shedding light on another drug crisis. A Michigan woman is now telling her story, reliving her torture, withdrawing from Xanax, a medication in the same family as Clonopin. I wanted to die. Every day I wanted to die. I was fighting for my life. New tonight at 7, Target 8 investigator Susan Samples is exposing yet another drug crisis. I thought I almost died last night. Part of me was scared. Part of me embraced it. Her words, a window into the hell that is withdrawal from years of Xanax. Horrific. It's like being tortured alive. Sarah Jane Nemcheski prescribed the anti-anxiety drug in her early 30s for panic attacks, was physically dependent after eight years on Xanax when her doctor cut her off. Nemcheski, who lives in Dearborn Heights, was also on an opioid for chronic pain. What she didn't know, mixing opioids with drugs like Xanax, known as benzodiazepines, can be deadly, and the state was cracking down. I'm not uh, upset about coming off. I'm upset about the way I was taken off. The symptoms are endless. They're just endless. I mean... For 10 torturous months, she weaned off the benzo Xanax. Burning skin, nerve pain. Barely able to sleep or walk, rarely out of pajamas. I didn't have any help or guidance from my doctor. Strangers helped me off of Xanax. Strangers on the internet. Those strangers, many also struggling to get off benzos, share advice in multiple Facebook groups. Nimcheski shared some of her posts with us. I am only fighting at this point because I have a son. I'm crying out to God, literally, either take me or make me better. <laughs> She made it to better. Today, she's been off benzos seven months, but she wants to support others still in the fight. I'm doing it to raise awareness, too, for um, people going through it. There's thousands of other people going through this. Nimcheski considers herself 80% recovered because she still has some withdrawal symptoms, but she hopes her survival story gives others hope. Doctors now recommend benzos be used only for short periods, two to four weeks. It's also recommended that long-term users taper gradually and under close supervision. In studio control, I'm Target 8 investigator Susan Samples.